Hello and welcome to Yak Quack Slips. My name is Michael, your point and click adventurer, and this is episode 21 of Let's Play Escape from Monkey Island. In the previous episode, uh, we attended Nothing at All, that's the island right next to Jambalaya, and just investigated a little bit. Now, before I start this episode, big news from me. Um, I have already played this episode, um, but my video file corrupted. So, instead of whimsically going around going I don't know what I'm doing because that doesn't make sense I'm pretty much going to do as far as I got to and just kind of tell you along the way how I got there um I didn't I, th I, I think I got pretty much pretty pretty far mainly on you, your guys um your guys tips so essentially let's just go through it and talk to this guy because he's a very important man Who are you you annoying little miscreant I'm Guybrush Threepwood mighty pirate and you are Jumbo Lafitte last of the Lafitte pirates uh, right. Where'd that cannonball come from? The dreadful Admiral Kasaba person. Every time he sees three or more pirates talking, he thinks there's a conspiracy afoot. So he begins to lob cannonballs at us. If I weren't so comfortable here on the beach, I'd sail out there and give him a piece of my mind. Uh, so, yeah, basically the guy fires cannonballs because there's too many pirates there. Are you aware that you've got a pair of parrots on your shoulders? Really? I hadn't noticed. Was that sarcasm? You know, I can't really tell anymore. <laughs> in any event, Still funny. these are, in fact, my parrots. I call them hugging and kissing. You're joking. You're not joking. <laughs> which parrot's hugging and which one's kissing? I can't believe I just asked that. <laughs> I don't know. They're identical twins. It's too bad, too. Why? Because they're special parrots. Special how? Do they sing light operas? Of course not, but they are cursed <laughs> with powerful not. voodoo magic. How so? One of them always tells the truth, the other one always lies. Isn't that right, fellas? Ah, yes, ah, no. Yeah, you see, I did this bit and I got to the next bit and um, I couldn't figure it out, so I haven't got too far with the parrots. I'll show you how far I got if I yesterday. Knew which one was which? They would be tremendously useful. As it is, they're rather annoying. So essentially, we have to figure out which is which one tells the truth and which one lies, for reasons I will show you in a moment. You're awfully large. Figured that one out all by yourself, did you? I'm looking for the pieces of the ultimate insult. What's that? It's an ancient voodoo talisman of button-numbingly incredible power. Ooh, sounds dreadful. Jumbo Lafitte. Any relation to Tiny Lafitte? Tiny Lafitte was my father. Tiny Lafitte was that statue guy that we saw in Jambalaya. Uh, I'd like to talk some more about your father. <laughs> okay. Was he really called Tiny the Friendly Pirate? No! My daddy was everything a real pirate should be. Violent, vulgar, psychotic. <laughs> Pirates lined up for miles to spit on his grave. <laughs> if Tiny was such a great pirate, then what's with the Tiny the Friendly Pirate statue? It's those soulless cretins at Ozymandral Enterprises. They're using my father's name and image as happy icons for their new family-friendly Jambalaya Island. Those jerks. Those jerks. What happened to Tiny's statue? I happened to it. Come again? To lend a touch of authenticity to their precious statue, Mandrill's flunkies bronzed my father's captain's hat and welded it to the statue. Enraged by this sacrilege, I gathered some pirates and raided Jambalaya Island. Before anyone knew what happened, I rescued my father's chapeau, returned to nothing at all, and buried my treasure. Your father would have been proud of your piratey prowess. Oh, thanks. Unfortunately, my raid inspired Mandrill to hire Kasaba to patrol the waters of Nutton. Now, Nutton at all is nothing more than a prison for a calcitrant pirates who don't share Ozzy Mandrill's vision. So we have to go and basically find this um, One crown to another. hat. Where did you bury your father's bronze hat? I don't know. What? I know I buried it under a boulder along the beach. I just don't know which one. Uh... Okay, so we need to basically if find, find that under hat, a boulder can I borrow it? on the beach. I don't know. Why do you want it? I'm going to use it to crush Ozymandra like a bug. Really? Oh, that's great. If you can find it, feel free to use it. 
Right, let's leave this, this chap is alone. Obviously a painful subject. Let's talk about something else. Okay. I don't think we need to talk about anything else. Don't get up. Yeah, I'll see myself it. out. Goodbye, little pirate. Goodbye, little pirate. Right, so what I found out yesterday, of course, still having troubles with the controller. It's only 21 episodes in. Um, Holy all these boulders. <laughs> monkeys, that's a lot of boulders. How am I ever going to find the right one? Essentially, I can't. Um, so we'll leave that there because I can't do anything with it at the minute. Um, I'm actually going to get to the bit where I got to pretty quickly in the first 10 minutes and then no, I'll actually be able to talking. continue what from where I was. Scratching. Well, that's obvious, naturally. But what about where am I? gaming? Uh -huh. right. And I completed this puzzle. Thanks very much. I didn't even realise it was a puzzle that I nearly did. But someone in the comments um, on the last episode said that I nearly did it. Um, so I, I figured it out how to do it. So let's do this. Oh, that's the right. I've already, I've already gone wrong. You basically, you have to talk to them in the right order. If you're Hellbeard, where have you been for the past 80 years? I uh, um, uh, Look! Over there! You again? <laughs> you again? And then we need the puppeteer Can out. Can I talk to the puppeteer again? Uh, all right. Hellbeard? Please, stop bothering me. I'm harmless, really. And then I have to show I think him... I'll leave you alone. Thank you, kind sir. The ultimate insult, which is on the back of that. Yes. There we go. Could you help me find this? <laughs> What's that? It's a picture of the ultimate insult. <laughs> the ultimate insult? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you forgot your puppets. Gee, guess that was just the kind of breakthrough he needed to mend his shattered psyche. And that's that's that problem good problem done puzzle solved I mean not problem I guess it was a problem uh, and now I have these awesome and I stress can't stress that enough these awesome puppets and if Lucas Arts had the head screwed on they would make these yeah and that's the problem so where are they look how awesome they are little guy brush little a jerk um, but I can't put them on. Because I'd better put these away before Kasaba thinks we're conspiring yeah, against him. Yeah, the guy shoots his cannon at me. Exactly. He thinks that there's three pirates because he's an idiot. Um, I also must say that apparently all this stuff here is utter crap. The stuff that I got out there, out of the um pirate chest. And um, because again, a comment from you guys in the previous episode said that I need to continue looking in the chest because I haven't got everything. And so I did this. Um, and I don't, I don't have to pull the fire alarm. I could just walk in. Oh, no, I can't, actually. I do need to pull the fire alarm to look in the chest because she won't let me look in the chest. I think. Let's just do it anyway. Use... Use fire alarm. <laughs> Another fire! Everyone run for your lives! Come on, Garbrush, in you go. There is one more thing. Lying in amongst the rubble in here. And it's a whistle. Pick up whistle. I didn't notice that last time, but that's the thing that I need. And I'm guessing all the other stuff on there is crap that I don't the need. The fire alarm is not a toy, Mr. Threepwood. Um... Get out! I wonder how many times I can get away with this. And his whistle is... Kind of sounds like a parrot. I guess there aren't any parrots within range. So that's it. And that's pretty much where I got up to. I mean, kind of anyway. My idea was to come down here and use the parrot caller with the parrots. Because, you know, it kind of makes sense. I'm out of here! I mean, where does that pirate go? So what we do, we use the, par we use the parrot caller thing over here. And the parrots come here, and we can actually ask them questions. So parrot on the left. Like that. No, I don't want to use the parrot thing on there. So talk to the parrot there. What's two plus two? two, plus two three. Ah, that must so have that's been the liar. Lion parrot. But then they get up and go. So I haven't figured this bit out yet. This is pretty much how I, where I got to. So I can't put on the part. The the um, I can't put on the puppets because I was thinking I could put the puppets on the parrots. 
But I can't because every time I get the puppets out, even without I doing anything, he puts them straight back. Kasaba thinks we're conspiring against him and shoots his cannon at me. So there, we're up to date. Ten minutes in, that's good. We've still got time to <laughs> wander around them aimlessly for the next 15 minutes. Um, I need to mark the parrot somehow, and I'm not sure how to do it. Maybe that. I don't think he'd like that. No. Can I... Um, hmm. It's going to kick or push, but I can't do any of that, can I? The chuck sucks. The chuck sucks. The chuck sucks. Ah! Uh, yes, yeah, so if I ask that. Is Tiny Lafitte's hat buried under this rock? Ah, yes. If only I could tell these birds apart. Yeah, if I only tell the birds apart, because then they get up and just shoot off. I'm convinced it's got to be the it's got to be the puppets. Maybe I have to, like, tear the puppets apart, which would be an amazing shame because they are some of my favourite things in the game. Look at them go. I love them. Amazing. Um, what I did think, which I haven't tried yet, is um, I don't think I could pick up that cannonball. I think it was too heavy, wasn't it? I don't think so. Yeah. It looks really heavy. Is there anything else around here? I didn't actually check properly. Campfire. Maybe I can use something with a campfire. Um, caricature picture. I don't really want to show this off. <laughs> I don't blame you. Um, the the heart maybe it explodes. My heart belongs to Elaine. I can't give that every away. time. I think that these two also might be nonsense things that I don't need. Because if you remember rightly, I got them from the uh, prosthetic shop just randomly. I just picked random numbers. I think. I picked something random and just got stuff. So I think that's useless. I'm assuming that these three things are useless. And I only needed the whistle. So, I don't know. I'm kind of not really sure. Can I pick up these, like, coconut things? That's the pirate hamlet. What's down here? I've not actually seen if I can go all the way down here yet. Oh. It just goes in a circle. I mean, the only other place I can go then is back into the school. So yes, I can go back into the school. And yes, I do think I can go in there without um, without actually being uh, pulling the fire alarm. She doesn't tell me to go away. This is where I ended the episode yesterday. I was in. I was just like, that's it. Thank you very much. Um, so I haven't actually done anything in here. Maybe I can talk to her. <laughs> if you'd walk straight. Come on, Guybrush. Come on, Guybrush. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, what did that say? Magnetic letterboard. Got any magnets? Uh, Miss Rivers? Yes, Mr. Threepwood. Oh, I can actually talk to her. Hmm. I don't want to take another whack at being the trans transmots, the thingy pirate. I'd like to reclaim a confiscated item. What's your first name, baby? I mean, I'm going to say it, but it's... I don't like the way he says it. What's your first name, baby? Why, I mean, why does he say that? Smooth talk me, mister. Why? I'd like to reclaim a confiscated item. But I didn't confiscate anything from you, sweetie. I'm, uh, collecting it for a friend. Sorry, dear, but the owners of confiscated items must reclaim them in person. Darn. And watch the mouth, sonny. I'd like to take another whack at becoming a trans pirate. Well, what for, dearie? You already passed the class. Well, I know, but I feel a relapse going <laughs> on. All right, avast, ye swabs. Uh, see? Oh, you poor man. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is like a... Oh. Welcome back, class. Oh, no. I can see that all of you have been here before, so let's cut to the final exam, shall we? Three questions, 100% of your grade. Let's begin. Yang yeah, yang. Yeah. Yes, Stop it. After drinking need to do too this. much grog, a friend of 20 years teases you about your haircut. What is your reaction? I have a good this is ridiculous. My own What's the point in this if I've already got it? Like wit. Good. I think I can say, I now, think I can just like Guybrush. leave yes, the room, can I? While reading a book of poetry in the library, what appears to be a treasure map falls out of the book. What's your plan of action? Um, I have to go to the bathroom. I have to yeah. go to the bathroom. If you can't wait until the end of the exam, then you'll fail. Believe me, it's worth it. 
Ah, oh, God. So what I'm thinking of, hopefully, they're not continuing in there, because that would suck major. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, that was useless. Dunce Hello, cat. Dance. Pointy. Anything else on there? Teacher's apple. Crayon drawing. It's a picture of a happy pirate holding a flower, rendered in a primitive waxy medium. Uh, Dolly. Looks like someone's Emily eye patch doll got confiscated. Slingshot. It's a baby buccaneer brand slingshot. This is kind of just. I kind of just think this is useless stuff. I think I've got what I need from there. What's in here? Hmm. Bookshelf. Let's see what the reading selection is like. Captain Bloodbeard gets a shave. Spurious George walks the plank. The little galleon that could. Snow White and the seven brigands. I'm surprised they don't have hook, hook, peg leg patch. Sign. Someone spat on this sign. Um, oh, do I need, do I need that? Do I need to get the spit? I'm thinking of Monkey Island 2 and the spit that Largo did. There's no reason why I'd need spit though, is there? Put it, put it away, put it away Guybrush. Globe, let's have a look at the globe. It's one of those new controversial ball maps of the world. <laughs> I can't use this. It's one of those new Why controversial spin it? ball maps of oh, the world. Can't. So, I mean, what is here? Sign. If I couldn't read, how would I obey this sign? Flower Pretty pots. Flowers. Pick I've up had flowers. enough flower picking for one adventure. Pick up blocks. No, too wholesome and non-threatening for me. I can't think. I, I need something to separate the parrots. What about this paint down here? Can I pick up the paint? Learning is good. What's that say? Crayon draw. I wonder if it's a picture of Otis. I'm not picking that up. No. Can I get the crayons? What about this? There was a magnetic board, wasn't there? A, B, C, D, E, F, Z, C, A, T, D, O, G, S, C, U, R, V, Y. All right. I'm not picking that up. Um... What can I do? I need to make the parrots stand out from each other. What's on this table? Look at desks. What tiny desks? Uh, maybe this is like chalk or something over here. Sign. Miss Rivers. Um. Oh, I wonder if I can get my pirates out here. Because they can't see me, can they? Hey! <laughs> Look at that, little guy brush and little chuck. I better put these away before Miss Rivers confiscates them. Oh, what? No, 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 no. Use them again. Ah, I wonder what I can use those on. Anything? Nothing. Hmm. I better put these away before Miss Rivers confiscates them. Oh, rubbish. Absolute useless. So there's nothing in here then, by the looks what of it. Tiny desks. That will that I can like paint the parrots or mark the parrots. It's gotta it's gotta be the it's gotta be let's look at these. This little Guybrush puppet sure is cute. On the other hand, literally, this LeChuck puppet is downright cute. <laughs> On the other hand, literally. Brilliant. In the, what's in the bin? Nothing in here but a gross wad of tissue. Pick There's it up. There's just a used tissue in here. I don't want that. Go on. There's just a used tissue in here. Oh. I don't want that. Um, alright. Let's go outside. See if there's anywhere else that we haven't been. What about... I mean, can I go back to the mainland? I think I might be able to go back to the mainland. What was that saying? Come on, Garbage. Steering wheel. Steering wheel. Anything else? Anchor. Shark jaws. Um, oh, God, I don't know. Look at skull. You can lead a cow to water. 
Maybe there's something back on the island that I've missed. Some kind of paint or... Um, maybe a drink. I can make one of them a drunk parrot, perhaps. What do you reckon? Let's try that. It's the boat I brought from Jambalaya Island. Can I use it? Can use it. Right. Can I go to the It's a beach, beach? littered with boulders. Oh, that's the actual... Oh, okay. So that's the... I see. That's the boulder beach. Row to Cassabus ship. Let's go talk to this guy again. See if we can say anything. Now that we've spoken about him to the other pirates. See if he's unlocked any other dialogue. Um... Take time, Guybrush. It's not like we're in a rush or anything. Talk to him. Uh, excuse me, sir. Make it quick, Threepwood. I Make can't quick. afford to let my eternal vigilance slip for even a minute. Uh, yeah, anyway. Right. How do you get... I think we've had asked that. How many of Nutting Pirates have been allowed to return? Do you really fling cannibals at group? I think we've asked all that, haven't we? Do you we? really fling cannonballs at any group of pirates you happen to spot? Of course. It's the only way to stop their infernal plotting. Even now, I can hear them contemplating foul deeds against the good and wholesome citizens of Jambalaya. Really? Well, I can hear some seagulls. Yeah. I think I'll just be on my merry way. Good lad. Remember, I'm watching you. Maybe I can use the pirates with the with the boat. Use the use the pirate um, puppets with the boat. I can't actually just do anything. I need to if I click and get out of here. It's just gonna exit, isn't it? All right. I think we're gonna go back to the mainland and just have a quick wander around. Come on, guy, brush. Where are you going? Jambalaya Town Centre. Can we go there? That's the pirate light town I arrived at. Use Jambalaya Town Centre. Yeah. We get in there. And we still have to find something to become like a swordfish kind of person. Let's talk to let's talk to him whilst we're here. Ahoy there, Mr. Mr. Cheese. Cheese. Ahoy yourself, Captain. What can I do for you? What can you do? Assemble the crew, we're not going. Carla's drunk. Carla's Carla drunk, drunk, isn't she? Come to think of it, she did seem pretty depressed during the old trip. Depressed? Yeah. Kept muttering about Monkey Island. Oh, give over. That was three games ago. Um. Carry on, Mr. Cheese. Aye, 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 Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. I still feel like there's unresolved business on nothing at all. But we can only do what is put in front of us, and what's put in front of us is tricking me. Where do the real pirates go when they're looking for buccaneer style family dining um, at a reasonable price? Why planet three foot? Right. Apparently also somebody said in the comments that to win Come on, guy, but move around. To win a meal at um, Planet Three Pool, I could also glue myself to the horse. You know, the it wasn't a horse, it was a manatee, wasn't it? Glue myself to the manatee in the pub. And I win it that way. But I did it the other way. And I quite like the fact that there's different different ways to win puzzles. Right, I want to fill up this Grogatino just to see if we can um like get one of the pirates really. Still offering that free refill? You bet um, hyper. Sir. I'll take care of that for you. Can't get enough of my sweet coffee goodness, can you? Uh just get me my Grogatino, please. Alrighty. Coming right up. Coming right up. Put it away. Don't think there's anything here. I'm looking for some paints or some chalk or some thing. Flowers. Can I pick the flowers? I don't think these flowers are going to get me any closer to assembling no. the ultimate insult. Don't think we need to go back in. Where do the real pirates yet. go when they're looking for buccaneer style family dining at a Have reasonable Have we been price? over here yet? Oh, we can't go over there. That's the end. That's the end of Jambalaya. Let's go back into the microbrewery then quickly. <laughs> Who's afraid of a 
Seek out. <laughs> <laughs> right, this was some, this was like a big grog vat or something, wasn't it? Can't even look at it now. It has got the best music though. No, I think I'm. Um, this must be where grog comes from. Yeah, <laughs> must be where grog comes from. Right, we need to get those parrots. I think that's my next job. We, we either need to sort out those parrots so that we can make one from another. Words, Michael, words. Or figure out some kind of swordfish thing that will not make us splash. And I don't think we have Careful anything there. that could don't do that. Scare the customers. Right. But I'm going to leave it there for today. And before I say goodbye, though, just to let you know that it is the summer holidays here right now when I'm recording this. So hopefully I'll be able to get a video out daily. Um, but it might be every other day or there might be like a couple of days in between. I will try my best. But just to pre-warn you, the um, best place to find out if something's coming out that day is just head over to my Twitter, just Yak Quack Slips. Um, so that's uh, my public service announcement. And yeah, thanks very much for watching, guys. Really appreciate you sticking around this far. And until next time, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is you're doing right now. And take care.